All right, so today we are working on a big bass. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna change the T-handle. This T-handle has seen better days. This is all gouged out. I mean, the, the rubber is so soft, you can actually just kind of gouge it out with your fingernail, which is kind of gross, to tell you the truth. When, when rubber can do that, that means it's absorbing grossness from other people's hands and it's just staying in there and it's deteriorating and it's disgusting and it needs to be replaced. Um, you can try to fix this, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna fix the way you think it is. So we're gonna replace this one and we have a second one and we're gonna replace this one as well. And as you can see, this one, it looks even worse. You can actually even grab it and pinch it. All right, that needs to be replaced. That's no good anymore. That, I, I don't even know how that happens or why it would happen, but it is bad and we are gonna replace it. Yeah. I wonder if I can do that pinch test with the other one. Nope, no pinch test, but oh my God, it is just so bad, so bad. All right, well, let's get the parts and uh, replace them. All right, here are the T-handles. Nice, brand new, rubber's all nice. It's not sticky, feels good. It does have some sponge to it, some spring to it, but it's, I mean, you really gotta push on it hard. Um, you cannot pinch, grab it in at all. You cannot gouge into it. So, this is, this is the way it's supposed to look. Um, I guess if you just keep it clean, it should last you a whole lot longer. We have had those T-handles on there for a few years, so I'm not surprised they, they haven't, um, I'm not surprised that they did that, to tell you the truth. So um, we're going to slap the new ones on and uh, be done with the game and move on to the next project. All right, so let's uh, get these on. All right, so we have our tools. Um, got a half-inch socket here. Um, it's just one bolt, one bolt that holds this T-handle this in. Um, we're just going to remove that one bolt, pull this out, put the new one in, put the bolt back in, and be done with it. Um, on the other side, I'm just going to hold it with my little Gerber here. Um, hold it on this side. On both on that side. Hopefully yours still has an actual half inch nut on the other side. Um, if not, they may have changed it. It's possible. It could have broken and they have changed it. So let's go ahead and remove that nut and pull this T-handle out. All right, got the bolt out. Got the T-handle out. All right, super simple. Now all that's left is to go ahead and install the, the new one. Same way, we're just gonna slip it back into its little hole right there and then put the nut back on and then that's it. And then go do the other one. And that's it. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this up real quick. All right, the new T-handle has been put on. Um, real simple, I just kind of put it in there and then I put the bolt in there. I sort of did have to back it out a little bit. It's just sort of lined the hole up. Slips right in, put the nut on the other side. So this is how I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do to tighten the thing, right? So I'm just gonna push forward on it or, go, or I'm just gonna push, oh, I'm sorry, pull on this. So that way it kind of keeps a lot of pressure on the actual nut allowing me to be able to tighten this side over here. Um, it doesn't have to be so tight that you have to freaking use a torque wrench or anything like that, but it just gotta be tight enough to hold this in place. Um, make sure you use a little, um, all right, I forgot what they're called, like a the split washer, the lock washer. Um, use one of those, that way it'll lock in place. So like I said, I'm just gonna pull on this or push on it just to kind of hold the nut, I mean the bolt in place so I can tighten it up. If not, I'll use my, my leather metal Gerber on the other side and hold it and then tighten it down. But I've done it before and you shouldn't really need to, plus it, sh it should get tight enough. So let's go ahead and tighten it up and finish this up. All right, T-handle is on. All that's left to do is just lock the doors up, let it go, let it play, and uh, that's it. Nothing else to do. Everything's working fine. All right, well, thanks for watching. And then All right, got this one done real quick. Um, so with this one, uh, the, the nut was going this way and the, the nut was on this side and the bolt was on this side. The other one over there, um, it was reversed. So it doesn't make a difference which way it goes. As long as it's bolted on there, it's good to go. Um, but I just wanted to show you this real quick. This is the little lock washer I'm talking about. Make sure you have one of these bad boys in there so that way everything stays locked. Or uh, get a nylock um, nut. That way everything stays nice and tight. Hold on a sec. Um, but yep, that's it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slap this in there, tighten it up, and then be done with it. And these games will be finished. Both handles are nice and good looking. All right, well, hey, thanks for watching. Hope this helps.